Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I am going to do a quick update on me and then then I'll get into the sample. So if you want to skip ahead, I'll put it down below um, where the actual like sample starts. So I didn't have a sample out, sample Saturday out last week because I was feeling not quite too great. So what I did, I, I had my toenails operated on. Um, I have naturally ingrown toenails, it's hereditary. And from years of point, they kind of got worse and worse. And um, they started hurting more and more. And when I went in, they're like, yeah, it's just, it's scar tissue. I didn't even know that like your skin would start doing scar tissue because of your nails. Anyway, um, it's decommissioned me for quite a few days because they don't just like take out your nails. They like surgically remove part of them. It was not too bad um, that first day, but then like I woke up with them throbbing the next day. So I just haven't been feeling too mobile and too energetic um, just because of the healing process on that. So I'm fine. Um, I really appreciate all of the kind words that were um, posted to me. Um, and I will be getting back into uh, commenting. Um, I'm trying to respond already, but also I have been behind in commenting and watching my friends on YouTube, some of their videos. And I apologize for that. I have taken a break from watching YouTube for a couple weeks because I made the goal for myself to finish once upon a time before it leaves Netflix. And um, yeah, that's taking up a lot of time and I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to watch as much as possible before it leaves on the 5th. So once it's the sixth, I will be watching videos again. All right, on to the samples. This first one you probably saw in the thumbnail. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. I actually went through two of these and each one of these has enough for about two uses on the back. Um, I didn't love this. I will say that I didn't find it magical. I wore it during the day under makeup because it's, um, seems to be like a day cream kind of thing. So under makeup, this didn't wear well at all. My skin felt more dehydrated than usual. And I mean, I usually wear a, joy, a gel moisturizer, but I just I was not crazy about this. I know there's a new one coming out and maybe I'll try that. But for me personally, this didn't work very well. Maybe it would work better as a night cream. I don't really know, but to say I was disappointed is an understatement. I was really sad because um, I was really excited to try some more Charlotte Tilbury because I don't get a lot of chances to try her stuff. So next up is from Tony Moly. This is the Panda's Dream Roy Rose Hyaluronic Face Cream. And these were okay. I also used these during the day. I didn't think they were particularly great. I didn't think they were particularly bad. Each one had about one use just because of how thin it is, but I, I probably wouldn't purchase them, but I don't think they were terrible by any means. Just not my favorite type of a moisturizer. I had this one, the It Confidence in a Cream. I used this one as well. I do really like this. This is a pretty good moisturizer. I feel like it does do a good job moisturizing. And this one I used on my neck and chest and it did quite well. And then I did this one from Clarence, which is the um, SOS Sea Lily. And then I was looking at it and I was like, okay, it says it moisturizes, but I didn't realize it was a primer. I used it as a moisturizer, wasn't impressed. Um, don't think I would have liked it as a primer on its own. I don't tend to do well with primers that are supposed to be like multitasking. I want a moisturizer and I want a primer. So I wasn't crazy about this one, so I probably wouldn't purchase this one, but I do have a couple. I know I have at least one full size It Confidence in a Cream. Then we have one last serum from Dior. This was the Dream Skin. I really liked this. Um, if I had lots of money, I probably would purchase it. Felt really nice on the skin. It just, it went on, it felt luxurious, it felt really nice, and yeah, I liked it. Two of these from Kiehl's, I kind of talked about these 
the last video. This is the Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate, 12.5% vitamin C. Each one of these is about one, um, two applications. I use them at night, and I really liked these. Uh, this might be a vitamin C that I eventually purchase someday, but not probably anytime soon, just because I have so many moisturizers and serums already. All right, next up is seven packets. These are all from Lancome. This is the Regenery Lift, Lifting and Firming Moisturizer. This I got in my HSN um, box, beauty box. So yeah, there were seven of them. I used one per night. They were pretty good. Do I think they were groundbreaking or worth like the Lancome prices? Not exactly. I know Lancome is pretty expensive and I feel like there's other moisturizers that are less expensive that are still high end that work just as well. So I probably wouldn't purchase it, but I did like them. I also like this one. This is the Total Moisture by Benefit. This one is very scented though. I usually use the Benefit stuff on my neck and chest just because it is so scented that I don't try to use it on my skin in case I have like a breakout or anything. But I do really like everything that I've tried from this brand basically. So I think they're good. I don't really buy a lot from Benefit. I used to buy their kits all the time. They haven't had cute kits for a couple years. So thankfully they've saved me money in the long run there. Last shower gel that I had, this was technically a shower milk. This is from Mugler. This is the Aura. This was a terrible shower milk. There wasn't enough to do anything. It was 0.2 ounces. I didn't feel like it gave me enough to lather up my whole body. It does smell really good. This is a very unusual scent. Probably one of the most unusual scents because I do have this in the perfume that I own. It's very green. It's rhubarb leaf. So it's just very, it's very different. I would not purchase it because it I would have to use so much of it and I know how expensive their stuff is compared to like Bath and Body Works and those bottles usually last me a month so I'd rather just spend a couple dollars for that than you know a lot more. Down to the perfumes we have Tropical Wish this came in a set from Walmart so if you google Tropical Wish and um Walmart it did bring up this set and there was like a set of four and they're kind of body sprays this smells really nice it is very tropical <clears throat> very sweet I didn't like the other one that it came with it came into Macy's or a Walmart beauty box a long time ago I think it was nice would I purchase it no because you have to buy a whole set of it um, sugar spritz from Tarte's sister brand sugar rush this was quite sweet if I remember right. I don't have scent on today. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's kind of sunscreeny, like um, Banana Boat back in the day or Hawaiian Tropics, like that's my initial thought on it. It's very, very sweet. I like it, probably wouldn't purchase it. Um, same with this one. This is Candy Yum Yum from MAC. I know I have all these sweet ones. This one's a little bit more fruity sweet, whereas the other one's more coconut suntanny sweet. Um, this one definitely has some of that fruit notes in it. I do like it. That one, that one I might, if I ever found it cheap enough, I might pick up one. And then this last one is Pinrose Secret Genius. I did really like this one. The notes are vanilla, caramel, and sandalwood. It's just, it's a nice sweet, but it's kind of a tempered sweet, but it's a very nice gourmand. So I did like that one. Um, basically all of these were good scents, but not enough that I would seek them out to purchase them on their own. I mean, that was kind of the, um, theme I think of everything basically either I didn't like it or I didn't like it enough to go seek it out. So kind of a mixed bag this week. Let me know if you have tried any of these things. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on them. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.